Hello, I'm Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. I'm about to start a really big project. I'm going to make a pedestal desk with a leather top. It consists of a top and two pedestals. There'll be three drawers in the top and three drawers in each of the two pedestals. I'm going to be using American walnut for the desk itself and I've got this beautiful leather here which I'll be using for the top. And most of the joinery has been done uh, using my Festool Domino. All of the moulding work has been done on my UJK router table and I'll be showing you a number of different videos about different parts of the process. I've yet to make the drawers uh, and these will be done using my Lee dovetail jig. Incidentally, I'm using solid English chestnut for the drawers and I've got the big slabs of it on the bench in front of me here and that's a very traditional material. Right, I want to give you a quick overview of the design of the desk. Now I said that it's going to have a leather top here and uh, this is a piece of MDF at the top and I've made a slight chamfer all the way around the edge so that the top of the MDF right now is the same uh, height as the top of the edging but then there's a little chamfer so that the edge of the leather can go down and butt up against the hardwood edge. Now the top is made up of three principal bits. There's the top itself which is the MDF plus four pieces of walnut which have been uh, moulded on this edge and mitered at the corners and these are joined together with uh, dominoes and the bottom is a frame uh, which has moulding around the outside uh, the middle part which is where your legs go has a piece of veneered MDF to fill in the gap and then between the top and the bottom are some vertical pieces the ones on the ends have been made with veneered MDF and using a panel raising concept and the ones in the middle in here are just frames to separate the three sections where the drawers go. Now when you're making a, a desk like this using relatively expensive materials it's really important to get the various cutters and mouldings right and so I'm going to make a separate video that describes all of the various moulding techniques I've used uh, in some detail. But for now, let me just give you a very quick overview. One of the things I've used a lot is the Axminster panel raising set, and in particular, uh, the scribing cutter from that set. I haven't used the actual panel raising bit itself at all. Now, the top of the desk uh, really does have to have the right profile uh, around the edge, so it looks absolutely right. And you get a profile like this. And I used uh, this... Uh, molding cutter and again it's part of the Excalibur range. Now for the lower part of the top I didn't want that molding to stand out and really take the eye away from the top and so I've used uh, a technique using two different cutters uh, a, a rounding uh, cutter like this uh, a bullnose cutter and also this uh, panel cutter here and used that in two passes to produce uh, the correct profile for the lower part of the top. And for the basis of the pedestals I wanted something really classic and so I found another uh, moulding cutter again from Axminster and this was the one that I used to produce this very very pleasing uh, moulding on the basis for the pedestal. And now we move on to the pedestals themselves. The pedestals consist of a side piece like this on each side and this is done by a sort of panel raising technique. Now I'm using veneered MDF for the actual panels and wouldn't be able to use a panel raising cutter on those to give any uh, impression the panel has been raised. However you can use the other uh, parts of a raised panel cutter set to produce quite a uh, a nice looking frame around a plain panel uh, and this is uh, uh, an example uh, using my uh, Axminster raised panel cutter which you would have seen 
uh, in one of my previous videos. Then uh, in the inside piece, we have four frames like this. And these are uh, designed so that the drawers will run on these frames and they also form uh, the framework of the pedestal. And uh, uh, these have been made absolutely square. They've got uh, nice smart walnut at the front. Uh, and uh, in my case, as I didn't have enough walnut, uh, the rest of the frame are made of sapili. And because they're nice and square, it helps bring the whole thing together. And at the back, we've got again a similar sort of panel raising concept here, uh, except again, this is veneered MDF, uh, and I've just used the panel raising uh, to make the rather nice molding. You'll note that the corners, uh, I've put a, a slight chamfer on there uh, just to make it look nice, um, and uh, by the time that's all sanded, that will be rather good. Now, this is a pretty big project for me and I think the videoing might be a little bit tricky to get it right but I'll do my best and I hope to be able to give you a, a steady stream of how-to videos finishing up with a look at the completed desk. It's going to take a few months so please bear with me. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.